I've had numerous head injuries. They haven't been severe. The first time I was ever knocked out was when I was five by a soccer ball. I lost consciousness for maybe five minutes. They didn't take me to the ER or anything. They were just like, oh, well, she's back. And I just was taken out of the game. I remember that because I just got slammed. I was the goalie, and they slammed me straight in the head, and I fell over. Um, after that, I played soccer, and I've been slammed several times in the head by both the ground and um, soccer balls. Um, I also rode my bicycle everywhere for years, and I had numerous accidents because I used to like to play on construction sites, and I would slide off my bicycle and slam my head into the ground, and I, I've done that I don't know how many times. I've been butchered. Like I remember one time I slid across the street, and my arms were like all bloody and stuff. I mean, I had I was pretty rough when I was younger. Okay. When I was in the military, um, it progressed because my truck didn't have a seatbelt that um, worked. So I had a helmet on, but I would slam up against the front. And one time it hit my, my face like in a weird way and it like crushed my nose and there was like blood coming out everywhere. I remember that. I didn't go to sick call or anything because I was fine. Um, there was time on the boat, there were several times on the boat actually, where I was slammed up against the wall when it would tilt like this. So, I don't think these things have helped me, um, any, excuse me. I still think what probably, um, caused a lot of my problems, like when I was younger and stuff, was actually the fact that my mom and I have the wrong blood type for each other. She's RH negative and I'm RH positive. And um, if you read up on that, people who are schizophrenic, that, like, increases their chances. She had a lot of comp issues when she was pregnant with me. Um, and no, I wasn't the first baby. She had a miscarriage before me, so I got really lucky. But um, because you know that there's, there's more of a severe reaction with the mother on the second child than the first one. Um, that's why I think they should get tests done on people. But, you know, my numerous head injuries have not helped me any. Um, but it doesn't show up in my brain. Like, I actually, I talked to a doctor once. And he was like, you have a really thick cortex. And I'm like, that's cool. Now I was happy about that. Um, my IQ is still normal. It's 116. So that's good. It's always, it floats around 115 to 120. It usually doesn't get much above that. Um, it has before, but it's not like, it was just younger. So the test was easier. But yeah, those are my head injuries and stuff. I've told my doctors about this, but since they can't, they don't have the techniques to diagnose it, they can't confirm it. So they kind of just are like, mm, maybe. I mean, I have one doctor who was taking me seriously about that, but for the most part, they're like, there's no evidence. So, like, well, I'm just crazy, man.